friends, this is Amarantha Sandys. I am a teaching artist and a mixed media artist. Some of you probably know me from the library programs, but today um, we're gonna learn about how to make a paper weaving blanket. Weaving, it's a, still a pretty strong tradition uh, that dates back to the natives in Mexico. Uh, when you go there, you still find a lot of things that are still made such as this colorful um, basket. They do uh, boxes, baskets, uh, hats, and also um, even south of Mexico, closer to Guatemala, the weaving, this is not precise with this one uh, from Guatemala, but weaving, it's very, uh, it's very strong. So I love how uh, you can form different patterns and we're just gonna do a simple project. The uh, supplies that you need for this project are the following. You need three colors, three um, crushed sheets. You need a ruler, you need a Sharpie pencil, eraser. Um, if you have one of these cutters, it's gonna simplify your work to cut strips. But if you don't, you can just use a pair of scissors. So uh, go gather your supplies and I will see you shortly. Okay, so now that you have your sheet, uh, you want to measure one inch um, and just measure uh, going lengthwise. You are going to draw a line right here and you're gonna end that up. We need at least six or seven strips. So once you have um, all your, your paper already measured, if you have a cutter, this is gonna be a lot easier. But if you don't, just uh, cut it with a pair of scissors. So, I already cut my uh, stripes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have lilac, pink, lilac, pink, and purple. That's gonna be the order of my um, of the uh, colors that I want to do and the last one this last strip is going to be 1.5 you should have three of them and I'm just going to write that's 1.5 inch so we are going to start uh, assembling our um, blanket within our blanket so I'm going to put some generous amount of in here and I'm just gonna leave it right next to each other so I'm gonna start with purple pink lilac and I'm gonna repeat my pattern purple pink and lilac one two three four five six and I'm just gonna do six um, six strips so now I'm gonna go vertical and um, I'm actually gonna start right I can either one thing I noticed there's a lot of different patterns you can do I'm actually gonna put glue on top of this and I'm going to repeat this purple uh, color and that is gonna live right in front of it and don't worry if if the paper um, is a little off, at the end we can cut it. So here's my first one. I also want to leave some space in between because if I cut, if I glue this, it's not, it's not going to allow me to see these other patterns. So again, I'm going to uh, have the same order of the colors. So my next color is going to be pink. One, so I'm gonna do pink right here and leave some space. Then I'm gonna skip an inch, which is the width of your um, strips. And then I'm gonna add the uh, lilac. Then I'm gonna leave some space right here. And you guessed that, purple. And I'm gonna 
leave a space right here. And I'm gonna end it up with pink. So at this point, you could just glue um, the paper like this. You can just lift this and then have, um, you know, have all the, the patterns to be like that. But I'm gonna do a little bit, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. So I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm gonna wave the paper up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm not gluing anything right now. The next one, I'm gonna leave the purple just solid, a solid strip, just like that. Very careful, we're gonna go up and down. Uh, you can probably pass this, almost like th threading or weaving. This is weaving, up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. And I want to do a second pattern. I actually want to leave the purple line to be a straight line. So uh, again, I'm going to weave this other one up and down. And if you're not too sure, you can always look at the first one. Because uh, again and again, patterns and weaving, they go very well together. Up and down, up and down. And that is my solid um, strip. Um, this one, it got... I'm trying to follow this other paper, so maybe this is going to lift all the way down there you go i'm just trying to have a pattern or not this can actually it's up to you if you want to leave that pink stripe if you want to leave it up or if you want to leave it down this one for instance is actually you can see that And then again, this other one could be at the back. There's a lot of different ways that you can arrange your patterns. It could get a little crazy, but um, he and I'm just like combining all of them. So I don't know, maybe it wasn't too much of an idea. So I'm just gonna leave all of them in the back and I'm gonna concentrate on my, just on the first pattern that I have. Uh, I'm just giving you ideas of how you want to place this and okay paper stay right there we need a little bit of glue I need glue in here okay so here we go I'm just gonna leave it like that and uh, very careful start gluing from the back Did you know that the Native Americans here in the Pacific Northwest are um, excellent weavers? Um, a couple of years ago, I had the opportunity, I was invited to participate um, doing a table for kids and family at the powwow, and they had some uh, demos of um, traditional weaving. Uh, from the Salish and some of the Duwamish, so that was pretty impressive. So that's it. I'm just gonna leave my, you know, my weaving like this. I could potentially add another uh, strip right here, so, and then this could be the bottom, so I'm just kind of altering this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add one more. Why not? And uh, this is gonna change a little bit, so. Again and again, I'm trying to follow the, the my very next pattern. So the only color that goes down is right here on the purple. And I'm gonna leave it right at the end. So here we go. I wanna make sure I'm not blocking the pattern with my hair or my shoulders. And maybe this is the pattern that I want. Maybe I want this pattern to be this way. And you can 
the two new glue in. And see at the end, all of this um, patterns, all these little strips, they go, they go on the other side. So I kind of like it this way. Uh, so I'm gonna leave this example right here. And for some of you, this might be a little too complex, but I'm gonna teach you how to do, I'm gonna teach you how to do some uh, quick uh, paper sculptures. So grab two of your uh, paper strips, glue one side, and turn that into the letter L. Then whatever is, uh, in, this, in this case, the pink, it's up top, and I'm just gonna bring this and make sure there's a square and give it a nice fold. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold from right to left up and down and make sure there's a good fold in there. Left to right, up and down, right to left, down and up, and then you just continue to uh, weave or alter and fold your colors. At the end, you ended up with some nice little piece like that. And I have made some other samples before. So if you glue, if you put a little paper right here, and maybe put this two together, you can have a color sculpture. I'm gonna add another one right here. And uh, this is with any kind of paper you have, maybe from magazines that you have. Um, it will be interesting how this paper sculptures would look with textured paper and change your paper. Maybe you wanna do some other letters uh, or some other sculptures. I'm gonna maybe bring this one in between. And there you go. So we are, we are learning how to, you know, how to turn this, especially for this one, uh, from a 2D, which is, you know, two-dimensional, into a 3D. So this three-dimensional paper sculptures, uh, you can see it from above, from the side, and you can see all the sides. So, here is the work that we did today. The paper weaving inspired by this lovely box. And, uh, yeah. Well, thank you friends for watching. Uh, today we did this paper weaving blanket inspired by this Mexican box. Uh, and we also did a little paper uh, sculpture. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.